Well, boy, howdy, men and women, boys and girls of all ages, walks of life. Back in the garage, we're going to do a little demo on this uh, Telecaster that I built. Here she is, from headstock to body. I know you can't see all the fancy paint on this right now, but there she blows. Today... As opposed to yesterday, I'm using a Plectrum. I usually use these little Clayton picks. Don't know if you can see that. This one is a uh, pretty hefty. It's two millimeters or 0 .2, 2 .0, whatever that means. So let's just do a quick demo here. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna kind of show you how this three way switch works. As I told you before, three switches on the bottom, click it up. Three switches on the top. Scritches, squitches, and gitches. And this is a switch. <laughs> anyway, so in the upward position, it is the single coil. So let's see what a single coil sounds like um, on the front pickup. <laughs> And of course, the back pickup, the bridge. All right, so let's go back up to the front. El Neko and flip her down. Let's we'll see if it sounds any different. You might really not be able to tell, but it's a little beefier. Jam-O-Matic that I, of course, made on my little, I made it on my Line 6, but the Line 6 is kind of spitting and coughing and not working all the time, so I transferred a bunch of it to my uh, RC5 loop station. So let's just see how that goes, okay? Oh, boy! Back. 
got to tell how this thing works. I didn't go through a whole bunch of different things and scenarios. Um, anyways, there you have it. That's how it works. Works pretty good. I cannot show you the sadness of this guitar. Now, I think I pointed out in one of the other videos that will show up later or before this one, but I know you can't see it, but look, this little Stevie Ray Vaughan stuff here. There is a little truss rod here that runs all around. At the very end of that truss rod, there is supposed to be a little Allen head. And you know what? After all this hard work and everything, that's something that you usually don't check on when you have a neck and a guitar you're putting together because it's supposed to be on there. And you know what? It's not. So this neck eventually will have to go. I mean, it's set up and playing, you know, pretty darn good. The strings are pretty close. So it's not uh, it's not a horrible setup. And it's definitely playable. But down the road, when it someday needs an adjustment, out the window it goes. And it's just going to hang on the wall or something. Anyways, my friends, I hope you're having a blessed day out there and a great day. And um, just I hope you like it and subscribe if you like it. Please comment, do everything you can just for the fun of it. We're all just having fun here. So I'm not trying to make a living doing this, so I can say that. But it's kind of nice to hear what people think. Even if they say, hey, you stink. That's okay. Because I shower every day. Therefore, I cannot stink. <laughs> Anyways. That's not even funny. So anyways, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.